Hey there, traders. This is Sam. Welcome back to another E-mini Futures Market Recap for Tuesday, October 29, 2024. The time is currently 7.58 a.m. Eastern. We're looking at levels in the SPY that will serve as our basis for entering trades in the E-mini Futures today. So far in the overnight session, prices stayed mostly flat from where they closed yesterday. In fact, the level shown in the light blue line, around 580.80, is pretty much around yesterday's close. That's all that is. If price comes into that level from afar, like if they open a decent distance above or below where they're currently at, this level could be a tradable area. But as of right now, I'm looking at this area around 580.80 as kind of an axis that the bulls would like to get above and the bears would like to stay below. Not much to say about the other levels on the board today. The SPY is in the middle of stuff Right now, no clear signals of which direction might be the high probability for the day, at least not on the SPY charts, different time frames. I will mention that over on the Russell 2000, the IWM chart, they are in a different position currently. They could be poised to go higher today. A pullback kind of fake out first would not be out of the question, but it seems that the bulls may have the upper hand right now, might be able to get price to run a little. Will that have any bearing on the SPY today? Not necessarily. But if the IWM is trending, the SPY could pick up a little of that energy. But again, just looking around at all the time frames on the SPY charts, nothing is jumping out at me that says price is going up today or price is going down today. As you know, whatever happens during the open session, we'll talk about it after the closing bell. If there were any E-mini trades that resulted from the spiders hitting these levels for today, we will dig into all that then. Catch you on the other side. Okay, we're back on the morning after for the rest of this recap. It's about 7.30, almost 7.30 a.m. Wednesday morning now. I had some things going on last night, got in late, and I just wasn't in the mood to start on this video at midnight. So where were the trades on Tuesday? It's one of those classic near-miss days for a couple of the levels, but we ended up with two solid base hits by sticking to the rules. Let's break down how it all played out. Starting with the first level at 578.86, after letting the market settle in for 15 minutes, the first official trade would have been on the long side when they came back down into this level from up here. They got within 10 cents. Now, don't forget this is 578.91 as the operating level. We're going to adjust this level 5 cents up. They got within 10 cents. As you probably know, for our rules, that's a near miss. So no fill here. The order was canceled. This is one of those examples where discipline keeps you out of unnecessary trades and saves you from guessing or chasing. I am curious if any of you guys who had these levels from Tuesday morning before the opening bell went ahead and traded this level the first time it was hit down here and got your base hit or more clearly the level was important support and price did get out of there pretty quickly next up 58080 on the short side so we'll bring this down to 58075 you're looking for the first time they, they're going to hit this level and pull back and once again they came up within 10 cents so and pull back more than enough for a base hit i call that a near miss although it did work one we gave you one more chance uh, they don't always do that so this is officially a near miss, no trade. But once they got above and things were going on, you could see on other charts that they probably were going to go higher. So a recycled trade would be when price comes back down into the level after a certain amount of time. And really that would have been over here because 580.80 was our level. So we're going to look for SPY to come back into 580.85. They got out of this level here. 20 minutes later, they're, so this is a much more precise trade on the long side here, although there were plenty of opportunities. I just wouldn't have touched this, but I was already long at this point, riding this thing up and got stopped out when it came down here. But anyway, that's uh, at least one base hit on the long side. And then when they continued higher and they went up to 582.80, you'd have your operating level in at 582.75. Perfect trade, pulled back for at least four points. And you could have got more depending on what you were seeing on your other charts at the time. I wasn't around my computer at this point, just took this first trade and got out. We'll watch my trades in a minute, but so in total, you would have had officially eight ES points for the day across two trades. So we're going to watch the live trades or trade that I took. Here's the near miss. You saw that happen pretty quickly. I was ready to buy two, end up canceling it when they pulled up, and they never never got back down there again. And we'll watch as they come up to 580.80. Once again, I was going to sell up here. Felt like it was a pretty good place at this point based on what I was seeing for a pullback, but quickly canceled that order when they came up within one tick and pulled away right there for more than a base hit. So that's can't, that's not on the board for a short trade, but I went long pretty much around the level and just waited this thing out. Took one contract off at 10 points. 
let's speed this up in the interest of time here, and trailed the remaining contract, but didn't get very far right there. They came back and pulled me or sought me out. So that's $600, the equivalent of six points on a two contract trade. And then I'll just speed up, scrub ahead here. To show you, I let this thing run for a while and did not do anything. I, at this point, when you see all these levels, all these lines go dotted, that should have been dotted too. I think I did that later. That's just my indication, my, my way of telling myself that I'm not going to take any more trades. I'm done for the day. This was, you know, 11 o'clock or so. And closed up shop before noon. So those were my trades. In the interest of time, I'll skip the forecast part of this video and cover that in tonight's video for uh, for Wednesday's trades. I need to run the numbers and get the levels on the board for today and send those out to everyone on my list. And if you want to get these levels uh, and the game plan via email each morning, just go over to the website at ticksandtrades.com to learn more. So over on the tracking log, there's two of them. You can see how the eight points landed on the playing by the rules log. Every level is treated exactly the same way. And on my uh, log here, my trades, Sam's trades, you can see how the six points landed. And this represents the number of e-mini contracts traded at each level. And you can read the notes. There are actually some new things I want to go over, but I'll save that for tonight's video. Just want to point out that there's one new metric here, this total rate of return. I'll toggle between the two logs. You can see 476, 551. And yes, these percentages are correct. It's the total rate of return from January, beginning of January 2022 to now. But even the annual returns are in the triple digits. I'll filter out 2024 just so you can see. It's 24 for Sam's trades, 24 for playing by the rules. So we'll get into this a little bit more tonight. If you found value in today's recap, don't forget to like this video and subscribe it to the channel. Hit the notification bell to stay updated. Again, if you want to trade these levels right alongside me every day, check out the link below or the address to the website. In the meantime, I'm just providing these levels for free to whoever wants them. As always, feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions or want to share how you did today. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.